And I think, too, Jinx is severely underrated, obviously. He did a lot of work with Exhibit and a whole bunch of people. Yeah, he why, did a lot of stuff. Why, yeah. why, since Jinx is one of the all-time greats, why do you think he doesn't get more appreciation for his work? No, man, some, some people hate, you know, you have a lot of haters in this game, man. You have a lot of jealous people in this game. That's the only thing. It goes on with, on every coast, but it's like, you know, the West is like, I don't know. It's like if if you're doing something and you're cracking, they dealing with you all day. They fucking with you all day. If you're not at the time, they seem to kind of you know fall back. And certain people act funny styles. It's just like the saying, "So-called stars hang with so-called stars." It's no different than how it is in the world. People with money fuck with people with money, and it, it's a pecking order to everything. So if you smash and you doing your thing, they fuck with you all day and do that. If you in between time and you're trying to build up whatever and you separate yourself from different situations and it's like i don't know certain people fall back that's just how this industry is i don't necessarily like it i just kick back you know i learned to respect it i used to get mad and angry because i'd be like god damn we need to help each other we on the west we all smashing we all came up together we all pushing for the same thing while we can't all collaborate and just do what we do and keep supporting each other because that's what we was doing back then we supported the Compton once one. We supported the King T's with doing all the St. Ives shit and all of that. We did all of that. That's just like saying this right here. I don't know if you can see this or not. You probably can't. Nah. You probably can't. But anyway, you know, for us doing the St. Ives stuff and assisting, you know, with Pooh clowning and doing that, Tila clowning and doing that. And with, we basically brought everybody to St. Ives. From the right Eric B and Rock Hams to on down the line, open up the doors from that. And then mm -hmm. you had what Minard, who basically owned St. Ives, who basically had three, which is from my group, clown and do the shirts. So you know the ice cube poster that you see with him with the hood holding up St. Ives, he designed that. The our St. Ives jackets and all that stuff. So three was doing all our merchandise. So oh, he wow. did merchandising for a lot of people. Second to none, pool with the eyes, jinx with the splat. Yo yo, um, um, the of course, the DA Lynch mob, the environmental terrorists, all of that, the dub C shirts, my shirt, on down the line. Hmm. Okay, so he clowned did that besides rapping. So, then how did the RBX getting on the shining the California song? How did that come about? Because we always linked, we always linked them, was always down with each other, okay. so you know, supported each other. Because the RBX, was, RBX is dope, man. RBX is dope. I got it. Great interview with him, man. Everybody check that out. <laughs> right, right, right. He don't get the shine he should get, the recon recognition he should get. But it's like, you know, RBX is dope, man. He put the dog pound together and clowned and pushed and, you know, made that happen. He basically, they big cousin. So, you know, it is yeah. what it is. But it's, it's cool because I'm seeing them embrace him a whole lot now. And I'm seeing him pop up a whole lot more now. As he should have been. Right, right. Because he's been in this game. He's been clowning and doing this thing forever. But that came along with us doing that. Besides just doing the soundtracks, you know, I brought him in to do the Fox Sport and that stuff and the soundtracks to do all of that stuff. And then um, for the movie called Road Dogs that we did the stuff with, with Corn and all of that, he was signed to Elementary, which was from Fieldy and Corn and Jonathan them's label. At that time, but it ended up, you know, not working out. He ended up smashing off to do his solo thing. But you know, it was a good a learning experience. Okay. And then, did you do uh, stuff on the "Why Did You Leave Me" on Snoop Dogg from Ego Tripping? Um, that was like some some some, some sample stuff that, that was added up in there. Okay. So I mean, you know, he gave me the credit, so I ain't mad at it. Yes. I had a shout out to Snoop Dogg. Okay. And then you got the Lynch Mob 3 on there as well, or doing a lot of stuff. So break down who he is, how you got connected, and on what you, because you got a lot of material with him in the last several years too. All right. Well, three is from, three is from the group. Also, you know, what's missing is, um, I'll come back to the three. Also, what's missing is the Seven Bill project I did with Cool Keith H Bomb. We basically had Jewel on there. Well, she passed. Rest in peace, Jewel. Corrupt. Roscoe. 
I did the last song with Rick James before he passed. It's on there, Ike Turner before he passed. So there's a lot of people on there, Silk the Shocker. So we just kind of flavor flay. Ice T redid six in the morning. So we was the first people to snatch him up and have him redo the six in the morning, but that didn't get a lot of play because they really couldn't place it. And then it was a lot of legal stuff that was with it. And somebody stole the album, bootlegged it. So I had to fight to get the rights back to it to do all that. So, you know, I got ownership of all that right now to do all that. So I'm probably revamp it and throw it back out there again. But that was a seven deal project with, you know, with all them, oh, Mr. White folks who was doing a little pimping now. Now, Mr. White folks is rapping. From Chicago, Mr. White folks? Yeah, yeah. So he was on there doing some spoken, you know, doing some, <laughs> some spoken pimp word stuff. So we had a lot of people on there. Yeah, that was that was a tight hip hop project for um cool keeping. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So then right, okay you know, now back to back to three, which is basically who was doing all our merchandise, and he's there in the lynch mob with us doing all that. He didn't get an opportunity to put a project out. Just like, you know, Dazzy D was putting out his stuff, but he didn't really get an opportunity to do stuff, but he did get on Tonight is the Night. Yo-Yo out on the Make Way for the Mother Love. Right. So he's on there rapping, clowning, doing his thing on there. And if you think about it, if you listen to Tonight is the Night, that's basically part of Gorillas in the Mist. The voodoo, the voodoo, the voodoo. Yeah, that's basically that. Just flip it. certain parts taken out, certain parts used. Nice, and that was right at the top of the album too. <laughs> right, right. So you know, knocking out three stuff. He basically is putting this project together. So we got um, um, song called "Tricking Off," which basically we got the did the video to it. Got all the Lynch Mob, well, almost all the Lynch Mob members, because JD was locked up at that time. So he couldn't participate. We got Shorty before he passed. Rest in peace. T-Bone, KD, um, Woody, all in the video. So it was a cool look. What's that? Then we went on from doing that to um, doing um, Yeah, We Got That, which was kind of like a club song with Fresh Kid Ice from the Two Live crew before he passed. Right. With that and JT Money. And Boy another rapper man. from Florida called Boy Dirty. Shout yeah, out to JT, JT Money, Money on the Poison Rest Clan, man. Right, right, right. He doing his thing. So it's like, that's the good thing about this 50 years in hip hop, even though what, for the West, probably 40 some years for us. But, you know, everybody's coming back. Everybody's smashing. So it's getting, you know, a lot of recognition and people can, you know, get their publishing back and, get ownership of stuff and it's just embracing and it's it's a lovely thing for all the time that it's been around for the east coast the west coast the north and the south which is a good thing like this is the perfect time for everybody to like mount together and keep it moving especially for the west coast we really need that yeah i mean we need to deal we need to do songs with the with the with the young and the old we need to all connect up together everybody needs to support everybody's stuff at all times at all costs to keep it going. That's for sure. But I was looking at something that Baby said when he was saying um, that um, the South ain't got it and they ain't never going to give it back, which I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him, but I mean, you know, hey, it comes from the camp, come from the East. I mean, the West was doing their thing too. I mean, we had what, the, the last prophets, the Watch prophet, what was that, like 1968? Yeah, the watch probably 69 spoken word. That's still a form of rap. Yeah. Like you still have other people rapping. You still had Tidy T and Mixed Master Spade doing their thing. Early in the game. Right. 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 So we're gonna give props. I mean, we, we even, gotta take it. Even Ice T and Frost early, too. Right. Man, you already know. Shout out to Kid Frost, shout out to Ice T. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many people. I'll be naming people all day trying to give props to everybody. So, you know, I just sum it up to all my West Coast loved ones. West Coast, I love all y'all. Well, there it is. Let me chill. Let me chill. Anything else uh you want to add before we bounce? Um, well, I mean, besides the Red Rover that uh, knocked out with three, we got a um another single coming out called I'm Getting Mine, that basically debuting while well, I'm busting on it. 
So just clowning, just trying to do something different just to keep it moving. But um, basically go out and support all my group members. Shout out to Yo-Yo, shout out to Ice Cube, shout out to JD, shout out to T-Bone, Shorty Rest in Peace, Dazzy D, KD, Woody, T-Bone, what's up, Brother Ron. Hey, all the Lynch Mob members. You know what I'm saying? Go support that. JD got his project out. Dazzy just dropped, dropped the mic. Um, three got I'm getting mine coming. Um, KD pushing his son. Jinx is doing his thing. So he got his project. He dropped. He got some more stuff he's doing. So he's smashing. I mean, I'm just happy for all the members that we all doing what we're doing it and we all coming together to basically knock out one project that we're working on, you know, that we're working on right now in the midst of doing all of that. So that's a good thing. I'm just happy that all our group is doing it because there's always a different you know, um, like we do a lot of interviews, a lot of people get it mixed up with the Lynch Mob and DA Lynch Mob. I always push the Lynch Mob, but I embrace DA Lynch Mob. The DA Lynch Mob is the group that Q put them in there. So I always try to break down so the fans and everybody know the difference. It's, at the end of the day, it's all Lynch Mob together. So it's never been an album with all of us together with all the rappers. Because remember, when they did the DA Lynch Mob, you had certain members that didn't participate in that album. On that album. I mean, Jinx didn't even do no production on that album. Yeah. So, you know, within this, we're just trying to make it right, do what we do, give the fans what they need to hear, and that's that. Well, so I got a few solo, I got a few solo songs that I got coming out too, and we're just going to do it. But the main focus I'm just trying to push is just Push this Lynch Mob stuff. I got the Metaverse situation coming. Well, we're building a hip hop museum. So I got the first hip hop Metaverse that's in Times Square, New York. So we're going to have a museum and put all that and just clown and do it. Shout out to NFT fans and Earthia, Jason Swanson and um, Tony Crypto. I mean, we're doing what we got to do. Also, um, we got a documentary that we're doing with Big T and all of that, which called um, the world epidemic, put the guns down. You know, we're trying to get the youth to stop killing each other and doing this like a gang documentary with Crips and Bloods and you got what Ice-T is narrating it. Um, he has everybody, Maxine Waters on down the line, Tony Muhammad, but um, Nipsey Hussle before he passed, just break it down. We went to all the hoods to bring in everybody to basically, all the G's and the writers to basically try to see what we can do to um, put a cease to the gunshots, gunfire and the killing, man, because it's, it's like, it's beyond from state to state to state to state to state. It makes no sense. So we got to get in contact. We got to get reconnected with the youth to do all that. Also to the homie Wiz, uh, who had the race, the nonprofit, we was doing the, um, the Crip and Blood softball league. We was going playing different people to, you know, just, just to get them to Put the guns down. Stop killing each other. Stop tripping. It's always going to be drama no matter what. Because you're going to have people that's not down with that. But we got to smash and we got to make it happen. Plus, Shorty had this documentary we call Coming Up Short that we not too long premiered on the 16th of um, September. His documentary. So I helped clown and, you know, do that and put that together. Q backing and all that stuff, which had the Booyah tribe to it. Tank singing. You know, on there, um, Squeak Rule, uh, RBX at the same time on there, um, Dub C. So, you know, there's a gang of people on there contributing to that. Frost, Frost is on there. So it's cool. I mean, I'll send you, you know, a clip so you can have it. You can probably throw it up. Perfect. At the same time. So basically, man, I'm just out here smashing, surviving, grinding. Props to all the fans. Thanks for having me on here. All access. Appreciate you um, taking the time out. Look for more for Chili Chill. Social media, OG Chili Chill. Instagram, OG Chili Chill. Facebook, um, Twitter, OG Chili Chill. TikTok, DJ Chili Chill 1. www.chilichill.net. Hey, we smash it, making it happen. And going to continue to keep making it happen. So you will see a whole lot more, all of us clowning, doing what we're doing. Well, there it is. Well, Chili Chill, thanks for coming through Unique Access, man. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Appreciate you having me. West, West, West all day to the casket drop.